There's so much we can do if we work together as a world. You know, remember that movie Independence Day where invaders were coming from outer space and the whole world was united against the invasion? Well, why can't we be united on behalf of our planet? And that's what I want to do, to get more and more people to understand that and be involved to protect our environment. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? Congress shall now vote for approval of H.R. 8791, the Homeland Terrorism Preparedness Bill. As said bill requests emergency response funding up to and including, uh, I'm sorry, this section is classified, uh, dollars to prepare for a national level terrorist attack and or attack from classified. Funding for first responder personnel and vehicles would be doubled if said attack leads to more than 80% of national population being affected by classified. This funding shall commence in conjunction with the first attack on um, classified or the first large-scale outbreak of classified, dependent upon which comes first. Civilian and military units shall be trained in containment and combat of classified, including irradiated classified, with possibility of classified airborne, classified flesh-eating, classified, and or all of the above, in such event as classified spewing, classified escape, are released or otherwise become uncontrollable. Air Force units may also be directed to combat said classified due to their enormous size and otherworldly strengths. Should event occur in urban areas, Jesus, that, that's classified, far surpassing our darkest nightmares. Should casualties uh, exceed classified body disposal actions shall be halted and associated resources shall be reallocated to classified underground, classified protected birthing centers. A new bill of rights shall be drafted and approved by classified. Having now reviewed the bill, I ask you to please cast your vote. Here is the reality of what Canada is becoming. If these people are capable of doing this, imagine what they could do on a large scale. They've sent 30,000 to Afghanistan recently, but are using 40,000 against our own citizens. Obviously, the elite's intentions are not positive. up on a global level. We are becoming philosophically, spiritually, and politically awake. We are starting to see through the lies. The propaganda is beginning to not work on us. We are starting to understand how the illusion of finance works. We are starting to understand how the G20 only have any authority because we consent to it. When enough of you guys, when enough of the authority state, as in the police, start to realize, quit your jobs, 
start joining us, then there will be no one left to defend a very, very, very small group of criminals who attempt to poison and destroy our brothers. So all I ask you to do is please start questioning your reality. Start questioning the orders you are given. Start questioning the hierarchy pyramids of control which treat you as sheep and cattle and henchmen. You are all children of the goddess. You are all beautiful and divine spiritual creatures having a human experience. You are not consumers. You are not numbers. You are not machines. You are not slaves. You are human beings. Please remember that. Thank you. Out of all of it, I think at some point we're going to be visited. Not that we haven't been already in the past, but I think it'll be to the point where it'll be televised even through the media. They'll be showing them in the sky like, look, we're here, you're not alone in the universe. Then we might start to gain more answers. Now, uh, whether this may happen in 2012 or not, where we're visited, we'll see there's always a lot of ancient texts that talk about how the gods will return. And we are experiencing an awakening process of, of sorts as to what is going on and what is taking place. And uh, because we're not told the truth about our origins and history, so we'll start to have an understanding of what's going on. Now, whether this visitation is positive or not, I'm kind of uh, skeptical about because I've heard tell that that's how they'll establish the new world order, sort of like a uh, false flag alien invasion, kind of like 9-11, where there is that outside threat which will unite us all, in a sense. But I'm sure there's higher intelligence that would uh, be involved and perhaps not allow that, because there are races that are willing to provide help, and, you know, that are working towards the positive side of humanity and want to assist us in a sense but uh, it is really up to humanity to decide uh, which way we want this to go. It has to do with the opportunity that we have to open up to the divine wisdom, to the transformational energies. But it always comes down to free will. Nothing is predetermined. It always comes down to a choice that we all have to close down in fear, succumb to fear, close down, become more limited in our consciousness, or open up, open up to the blessing of the connection to the higher wisdom that is symbolized in the Maya tradition by the galactic center, the womb of the Great Mother, that which can transform and renew.